Hi, welcome to my workshop. I'm Justine and I'm going to be doing a throwing demo for you today. I'll be throwing a small bud vase using about a pound of clay. Anyway, enjoy the demo and enjoy the rest of the digital craft festival. I'm going to start off by centering my clay, um, which involves sticking it onto the wheel and then squeezing the clay between my hands to cone it up and press it down. I'm going to do that three or four times so that the clay is going around nicely in the centre. So you need a good speed on the wheel and lots of water. Now my clay is centred, I can make a hole in the pot and open up the base. And then I want to compress the base with my thumb to make sure it's nice and flat. And by compressing the clay, it won't crack when it dries. And now I'm going to pull the clay up. I'm going to squeeze the clay at the base and bring as much up as possible in a two or three pulls. And I want to leave a little bit of thickness at the rim for when I finally throw my neck, throw the neck of the vase. I already start to bring that top bit in just to train the clay to come in. So I've already started to form the shoulder of the pot and just narrow in the neck slightly, just to get a rough idea of the shape I'm going to be finally producing. Now I'm just smoothing off the bottom walls of the pot. It compresses the walls, it makes them stronger and just determines the base shape. going to start coaxing in the clay on the neck, collaring in with my fingers and every time I coax it in the clay gets thicker so I need to pull it up again just shaping that shoulder slightly and then coax the clay in again. You want a good speed on the wheel for this. Coax the clay in again. All the time I'm thinking about what shape I want the shoulder to be of this vase. How gentle I want the curve to be or how abrupt.
So I'm happy with the shape of that shoulder. And now just to finish off this little neck, I'm not doing a long neck. I don't want the neck to be too wide but equally I don't want it to be too narrow once it's finally fired because then I won't be able to fit a stem in there. And I really pay attention just to the final shaping of the neck to make sure it really sits nicely with the whole style of the pot. I'm not going to play around with that anymore when it's dry and I come to turn it just to finalise the shape a little bit more. Um, I will then just sponge off that rim so it's nice and tidy. essential piece of equipment is my heat gun and this just heats up the pot it stiffens up the clay so I can take it off without it collapsing